In this video, we're going to find all positive values of x that make this congruence true. 4x is congruent to 3 mod 5. What we have to remember is this definition of congruence. a is congruent to b mod m if m divides a minus b. This is the whole crux of what we're doing. So for 4x to be congruent to 3 mod 5, that means we have to consider 4x minus 3. Because our a is 4x and our b is 3. And since it's mod 5, the only numbers that we need for x are 0 through 4. We don't need anything more than this because 5 is the same thing as 0, 1 is the same thing as 6, mod 5. So what we'll do is we'll put in 0 in for x, so we'll have 4 times 0 minus 3 is negative 3. And now let's check this part of it. Does 5 go into negative 3? Nope. So 0 is not an answer. Let's do the same thing for 1. 4 times 1 minus 3 is 1. 5 does not go into 1. So 1 is not an answer. We'll try 2. 4 times 2 minus 3 is 5. 5 does go into 5. So that means 2 is an answer. Very good. But we still got a couple more here. We might as well check them. You got nothing else to do today. We'll try 3. 4 times 3 minus 3 is 9. 5 does not go into 9. And lastly, 4 times 4 minus 3 is 13. 5 does not go into 13. So to finish this off, notice we have x being 2 as an answer. So we'll start our list at 2. But notice it says find all positive values of x, which means there's a whole bunch actually. So, as I said, 0 is the same thing as 5, 1 is the same thing as 6, well, 2 is the same thing as 7, mod 5. And that's the same thing as 12, and that's the same thing as 17. So if you notice, there is a pattern going on here, and what we keep adding is your modulus. So once you get one solution, just keep adding your modulus to get more solutions. 4 is enough, we'll do dot 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 to say, hey, there's more in there. And that's all of our solutions, 2, 7, 12, 17, so on and so forth. 